Hi viewers, welcome to the Foodport channel. For vegetarians, here we're gonna make pani tikka masala. This tikka goes well with rice, naan, and roti. So quickly, let's see how to make this recipe. We'll start with the marination process. For that, in a bowl, add thick curd, red chili powder, garam masala. Coriander powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, lemon juice, hot oil, required salt as per your taste, roasted chickpea flour. Mix everything well without any lumps. For the ingredients measurement, check the description below. Next, we'll add the paneer pieces that has been cut into cubes. Gently mix the masala without breaking paneer pieces. Let it marinate for 30 minutes. You can refrigerate them. After 30 minutes, you'll start frying the paneer. Take a grill pan or normal tawa. Add some oil. Once the oil heats up, start placing the marinated paneer pieces. Let it cook on a medium flame. Allow them to cook until it turn brown color and then flip it. Let it cook on a both sides until it turn brown color. Now pani tikkas are ready, we'll transfer it to a plate. Next we'll start making the masala, for that in a pan, add some oil, add some ghee, once the oil heats up, add cumin seeds. Allow them to crackle and then add green cardamom, dry fenugreek leaves, saute them well for a minute. Next add ginger garlic paste. Now we'll add the onion paste. Saute them well until the water content gets absorbed and it thickens up. Next, we'll add the tomato puree, saute them well and allow it to cook until it thickens up. Now, we'll start adding the spices first chilli powder, garam masala, turmeric powder, cumin powder, coriander powder, dry mango powder and mix everything well. Saute them until the raw smell goes off. To adjust the consistency of the gravy, add some water. Mix it well. Once it start boiling, add the leftover marinated masala. Now add salt as per your taste 
and mix it. Let it cook for 3 more minutes. Now add chopped coriander leaves and slide in the paneer pieces to the gravy. Mix it gently without breaking the paneer pieces. Let it sit for 2 minutes and then stir. A delicious pandi tikka is ready. Do try it at home and share with your family members. Eat well and enjoy. Thanks for watching.